Yo, it's your boy DC Truth and DC Truth Dance Nation.com. We'll pick up our hoops and arrows. I mean, they've been talking hoops. All right, the Spurs recorded a recent win against the Orlando Magic, but just by one point against the mediocre Orlando Magic. And it got me to thinking, do we really and truly want the Spurs to make the playoffs? To be honest with you guys, we could probably use that lottery pick versus a first round exit. We really have to be practical about this. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Okay, let's jump straight into it. And I know that's not popular opinion and I'm not necessarily saying the Spurs should tank. I'm not saying that. But at the end of the day, do we really want the Spurs to go against the Lakers and just get embarrassed in the first round or knocked down in the first round? I mean, even if it went seven games, do we really want that versus getting a lottery pick? If we're being practical here, the chances of us beating the Lakers is pretty low. So why not regroup, you know, have another year or another summer with Murray getting better, with White getting better, with Lonnie getting better, and then add a lottery pick. You know, the Spurs front office is very good at pinpointing talent. If we can get a number 10 pick, a number 11 pick, a number 13 pick. Maybe we can replicate some of the magic that we replicated with Kawhi and Manu and Parker. Maybe we can just get some of that magic to help this team out immediately. It's possible. So the lottery pick makes more sense for the Spurs, not necessarily because I'm a fan of losing, not necessarily because I'm giving up. But when you think about the Spurs history and their history of picking great players out of nowhere, you have to think that lottery pick is going to be very formidable for this team, for this organization. So when you think about it like that, you know, it may be better for them to miss the playoffs. And I know it's been 20 years, but it might be better for them to miss the playoffs to get a player that can help them now re-sign DeMar DeRozan. Maybe you even hold on to LaMarcus Aldridge. Maybe you do. And next year, give it another go. Because the Spurs, the year before, they weren't that far off from being a four seed in the Western Conference. This year, I'm not sure what happened. You know, it wasn't a whole lot of injuries. Maybe it was just chemistry or just bad luck. I don't know. But the Spurs didn't have it this year. But if you get you a lottery pick, if you make a few moves in the offseason, get some shooting, get some athleticism, the Spurs are right back where they are. And you just have to be realistic. Man, I don't see us beating LeBron in the playoffs, the Lakers in the playoffs. Coming off that Kobe situation, them Jokers are going to be very motivated in the postseason. I just don't see that happening from a realistic perspective. So before you hit me, <laughs> you know, demolish me in the comments, I'm just being realistic. I'm a Spurs fan. I want this team to, to succeed. And that's why I'm thinking, man, maybe we need our lottery pick versus just a first round exit. It comes down to practicality versus pride, in my opinion. And again, let me reiterate, I'm not saying the Spurs should tank. I'm not saying I want them to lose. I'm not even saying I want them to miss the playoffs. But looking at it from an objective standpoint, a lottery pick may just be better for the long haul. All right, guys, that's it for this one. For more information on Spurs, be sure to hit that sub button. And also, if you're into heroes, check out my superhero playlist right here on the channel for hero fans like us. We can like Spurs and heroes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.